All right, so we're gonna be decorating in this bathroom that's essentially between my guest bedroom and my craft room. So it is the closest bathroom from the front door. So essentially like this would be the first guest bathroom, but I do have a second one. It's not gonna be in today's video. I actually am not quite sure how I wanna decorate it. So, but I'm gonna be decorating this one because I'm basically gonna make this a replica of my entryway guest bathroom from the last house. I recently had just like completed decorating my entire house before I at the last minute changed my mind and just decided to move completely out of state, Texas to Florida. So here I am, got this guest bathroom. It's absolutely gorgeous. And because I had just finished decorating in the last house, I liked what I had done. So you know, there's not really that much to change up other than having to deal with obviously like different spaces, different wall space, things like that, making adjustments. But I think everything in, that was in the guest ba bathroom in the last house will work here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. There is a shower curtain and sorry for like the angles. I'm gonna have to, um, I'll be turning the tripod for you guys. But I do wanna do like more of a talk through. But the first thing I do wanna do is get rid of the shower curtain that's in here and switch it out with mine, which I did wash, so it's nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a switcheroo. biggest things that I love about this house is the actual house itself meaning like the paint that's already on the walls you know the tiling just the whole color palette of this house is 100% me I, I love the last house it will always be near and dear to my heart for memories but in terms of the house itself in the color palette it was actually very far from me and i knew this i knew this going into it i knew i knew it buying it it was really the kitchen that sold me just like the layout in the window um but the colors were very modern farmhouse grays blues whereas this is more traditional you can see a lot of browns going on a lot of like rustic um tones and that's definitely more my style so all of the decor that I have is going to flow so nicely with the actual structure of the house. So you can see that there's still quite a bit of space there and I don't actually want to see the bottom of the tub. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lower the bar a little bit. That does mean that standing here, you'll be able to see the shower head, but I'm okay with that. It's pretty high up anyway. I actually do not like that at all for some reason. It made, it made the room look shorter, so. I'm gonna raise it back up. All right, so for now I'm gonna leave that there, but I think in the future, I'll probably end up swapping out the curtain because I do want a more dramatic luxury effect, I guess you could say. And I think what I could also do is get curtains instead of a shower curtain um, as that, and then just do like one panel here and one panel curtain here, and then have that effect. All right, next up is this blank space that's right here on this wall. Normally I would be used to cabinets being here, but clearly there aren't any cabinets. And I do have this shelf. It was in the guest bathroom in the last house. So I'm thinking about adding it here. And you can just tell by the look of this shelf. I mean, this is very much my style. I love anything with this like wrought iron, wood mix look. It needs some cleaning here. Um, but, it just goes so well with this mirror, 
and the granite countertop. So I'm thinking of adding this here. Next up, I have this huge, like the ceiling just keeps going. It's pretty tall. Um, I have this huge space right here and I'm gonna bring back this piece right here, which was also again in the last guest bedroom or guest bathroom. I can't seem to talk today. So we're just gonna put it right here. And this was also on top. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. All right, so there we have it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the towels. I'm reusing the same ones that I had in the last space. I'm having to rewatch my original video because I don't remember how I set it up. So here's what we have so far. And I really love how it turned out. Got everything kind of back in its uh, place. Very similar again to how it was styled in the last house. Love how everything is working with. This is what I'm talking about. Like the cabinets, the color of the granite, everything is working together rather than kind of against each other. I'm trying to implement vintage traditional Tuscan decor, but if the house has, you know, blue farmhouse, modern gray granite, it's just the two, I think in my opinion, are gonna fight in that way. So I really love how everything is coming together. Again, one thing I'll probably change in the future will be just the curtain itself. So I think I just wanna go in a different route here. Um, and we are also missing the bath mats. I could have sworn that I packed the ones that were in the last bathroom because they were fairly new. Maybe they're in a box somewhere, I don't really know, but I am probably still gonna make a little quick trip to Walmart and just get something that is kind of like an off-white cream that hopefully matches the towels because that's the color I wanna go for is match the towels. All right, made a trip to Walmart and I got some just plain bath mats. They're just like the bright white, but they actually, you can't really tell the shade difference. And I definitely think it helps out the space a lot though to have the mats. And here is what the space looks like. If you hear that noise in the background, it's Loki drinking. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got the towel here as well. Yeah, everything is pretty much exactly like it was set up in the last house, but in case you're new, still wanted to walk you guys kind of like through my style. You can see I love to bring in a lot of greens. I think it helps the space a lot, makes it look a little bit more full, a little bit more, I don't think luxurious is the right word that I'm searching for, but it just makes, it just adds something that I, I really don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with green stuff everywhere, even though it's all fake. 
and we've got this piece right here which actually this um, my sister-in-law gave this to me so and I love this piece so much I think she originally got it from Kirkland's and then when you kind of like look through the mirror you can see the reflection of the wreath there and just to show you guys an up-close shot of this frame on the mirror it's gorgeous so yeah this is exactly what I was talking about what's already here for the house just matches so well so I don't really have to do any type of renovations or it's just not my gig I wish I wish you guys that I could be like the whole home renovation DIY queen like that but I don't honestly don't know how people do it just I not only just like the actual physical work of it but like the mental I just don't know I wish I could be like that because I probably would have redone the entire house at the last house but anyways I don't have to do that here so that's the good news and yeah so this is the space I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon for another space <laughs>